I now give the floor to International Service for Human Rights. Mr. Vice President, on February 19, 2023, the Israeli Knesset passed a law expanding the criteria for the forcible transfer of Palestinian citizens and residents. The law empowers Israel to transfer Palestinians to the Palestinian Authority-controlled areas following revocation of their residency or citizenship, based on their conviction for a so-called act of terrorism, their imprisonment, and the receipt of money from the Palestinian Authority. This law, targeting Palestinians on both sides of the Green Line, is a clear example of Israel's apartheid regime over the Palestinian people and the escalation of the transfer legislation aiming at changing the demography. To date, Israel has punitively revoked the residency of at least 15 Palestinians from Jerusalem based on the breach of allegiance to the State of Israel. This led to the forcible transfer of four Palestinians to other areas of the West Bank outside Jerusalem and the deportation of French Palestinian human rights defender Salah Hamouri to France. The Israeli airline El Al, which allowed for the deportation of human rights defender Salah Hamouri to France in violation of international law, is complicit in the war crime committed by Israel. We call on the international community to call on Israel to revoke transfer laws and policies targeting Palestinians and guarantee the return of forcibly displaced Palestinians to Jerusalem, including human rights defender Salah Hamouri, support the Commission of Inquiry in investigating violations of international law to bridge the accountability gap and put an end to decades of impunity, ensure the annual updating of the UN database to increase transparency for business compliance with international law. I thank you. Thank you.